I was the liaison between the Black Panther Party and the OAAU. At the same time, I was Malcolm's sister's bodyguard. So I was in constant contact with Lumumba Shakur, who was the head of the Black Panther Party in Harlem. His brother, Zaid Shakur, the husband of Asada Shakur, was the head of Black Panther Party in the Bronx. With Zaid and I was much closer, because uh, we were close in age. Matula Shakur, the youngest brother, the purported leader of the Black Liberation Army, who was at Lincoln Hospital running a detox program using acupuncture for brothers and sisters who was hooked on heroin. So that was the world I was in, and this is, just, this is the time of the formation of the Black Panther Party, um, the Black Liberation Army. I was a part of the group that opened the first breakfast program for the Black Panther Party in New York City, and I opened the second breakfast program in the 1950s for the OAU. Um, I've met so many kings and so many queens, uh, Benny Shakur. You know, Tupac was a very good friend of my kids. Um, and it was one of my children that he was very fond of, who was very fond of him. I didn't actually like Tupac very much in the beginning, even though I know his mom and know his dad, everything. But he was a good, good guy. And he, he did, you know, like I said, very close to my kids. The day before he was killed, he called um, and wanted to set up a meeting with me when he got back to New York the next week. He called from Vegas. The meeting was about him. He was telling me that him and Biggie was really not fighting each other. That this was the magazine, this was the news people, this was their enemy that has created this whole thing. And, um, and the main reason that it was being pushed so hard is because Tupac, he said him and Biggie had got together and they'd come up with a way to take over distribution of rap music. And I told him then, I said, you know, that can get you killed. You're dealing with this mafia and the mafia, both. And he said, we know, we understand, but we are talking about you and Biggie can't pull this off by yourself. And he said, no, we're meeting with other rappers and we have a lot of other rappers on board. And he said, so Professor Small, when I get back in New York next week, I'm gonna be at the fight tomorrow night. Get back in New York next week, I'm coming up to the house, we're gonna talk. And I said, cool. And I handed the phone back to my daughter. And I said, we would hear the next day that he was shot to death you know, after that fight. Um, but he was very clear. And it didn't end with Tupac. Right after Tupac got shot, you remember, there was two rappers that got killed in Jersey also. They were part of the group with him and Biggie. And of course, Biggie would be killed later. But this all had to do with distribution.